Wanna is the second album from Atlanta rapper Gunna, and the follow-up to his 2019 album Dripper Drown 2. It's full of relaxed, psychedelic beats with a range of instruments placed over typical trap percussion. Of all the sounds on this album, one of the most frequent and most memorable is the guitar. Despite the variety of guitar melodies on this album, they all seem to come together into a cohesive sound. So let's look at how Wanna does guitar melodies and see if we can make one that would fit on this album. Guitars are such a cornerstone of Gunna's sound that they show up in the very first song on this album, Argentina, produced by Wheezy, Frankie Bash, and Morgan O'Connor. Let's break down this guitar loop that makes up most of the instrumental in the song. It seems to use electric guitars with, as far as I can tell, three different parts. There's this lead. In the first half, the lead guitar only plays two notes, F sharp and G sharp. And then in the second half, most of the melody seems to be handled by a quieter background guitar. Both of those are fairly simple. The interesting things are happening in the guitar playing the lowest part. This bass part's playing the chords of the melody, and there's only two of them. The first is D sharp minor, that middle note F sharp is in the lead guitar, and the second is F sharp major. This bass part does a little more than just play chords though, with those small trills on top of the chord in the first half, and small runs on top of the chord in the second half. By the way, when I call this a bass guitar or bass part, it's not literally a bass guitar, it's just the lowest notes in the guitar melody. As far as effects, these just sound like pretty unaffected guitars. There's just some crazy reversed reverbs happening in the background. We can bring together the three parts we have and add some reverb to try to match the original loop. Some of the things here I think we should use in our own one a guitar melody. There's the multiple guitar parts and the way they all blend together. It sounds like there's a lead, a bass, and a background, but it's hard to be sure. We also don't have to use that many chords, since there's only two here, handled by the bass part, and it sounds fine. Let's move on to one of the most memorable guitar melodies on Wanna, Cooler Than a Bitch, featuring Roddy Rich, produced by Trey Pounds and Dunk Rock. A little different from Argentina. These sound like acoustic guitars, not electric, and I don't think there are as many different guitars in this loop. There seems to be two, a lead playing the main melody. Not only does this part have the main melody of the loop, it also has the chords. There's only two, E minor and B minor. The notes have just been split up to make the melody. While this guitar does play the same part two times, there's a slight variation at the end the second time it's played, going up to an A instead of a D. The other guitar part in this melody seemed to be the bass line. It was hard to figure out how many notes are actually playing, so I just left it as one. Not much going on here, just playing notes within the chord of the lead guitar. Although when the lead guitar chord goes down, this bass guitar goes up instead, which I guess is a little interesting. The effects in this loop sound like mostly reverb, so we can just throw that onto the two guitar parts we have. Some takeaways from Cooler Than a Bitch. Again, we don't need to use that many chords. Only two were used here as well. And we can make a melody in the lead guitar just by taking a chord and playing all of the notes individually. The same melody can even be used multiple times, as long as one thing changes. Let's look at one more song, Do Better, produced by Wheezy, Jay Harris, and Simon. Seems like we're back to electric guitars with three different guitar parts, but it's really hard to tell which plays which notes. There's this lead.
Like Argentina, this guitar melody is fairly catchy despite not playing that many notes. While the same melody is played twice, the notes change in the bass guitar. The bass has a little bit of motion between those long held out notes, but the important thing it's doing is playing a different bass note each time the melody repeats. That way the song sounds different, despite using the same melody multiple times. The last guitar part is this background. It doesn't do a lot, but it's really twangy. Again, it doesn't sound like there are that many effects, just some reverb. Looking for the important ideas in this melody. We don't need one single guitar playing the chord. Only one chord is used here, G sharp minor, and it's split between the background guitar and bass guitar. And again, these guitars all do a good job of blending together, making it hard to figure out how many there really are. Let's see if we can take the ideas from these three songs and make a new guitar melody that sounds like it would belong on Wanna. The sounds here come from Omnisphere, their fake software guitars. The sound of choice for Wanna melodies seem to be fairly dry electric guitars. So let's grab a couple of those. Three seem to be the magic number, so we'll have one playing a lead, one as the bass, and another just in the background. And we need to make sure these parts blend together. It should be hard to figure out how many guitars are really playing. We also don't need a complicated chord structure, since these loops seem to do fine with two or one chord. There was a mix between major and minor chords, so we could choose either. Starting with the lead guitar, we want something catchy and with a little bit of rhythm, but not too complicated. Let's just grab a random minor chord, A minor, and play the notes individually to make some kind of melody. Kinda catchy and not too complicated, this lead does play the exact same melody two times, and that's okay. We can change notes in the bass part. The bass lines we looked at focused on supporting the chords, with some transitions thrown in between. So we can have the bass start on the root note of the chord A, and then just work down the A minor scale, adding in a couple transition notes. And to make things a little more interesting, we'll have one more guitar between the lead and the bass, mostly playing a note D that none of the other guitars are playing. This is hard to hear on its own, it just adds some extra depth to the melody. Now we just need to add the one effect used in all the other melodies, reverb, and bring it all together. Gunna's second album, Wanna, has a psychedelic feeling, in large part because of the guitar melodies. Looking at Argentina, Cooler Than a Bitch, and Do Better, we got a good look at the guitar loops on this album. They don't have a complicated chord structure, only using two or even one chord, but that complexity is made up for in the layering of guitars. It's hard to figure out how many guitars are actually playing, with some melodies having at least three different guitars. There was usually a lead guitar playing a recognizable melody, and a bass guitar filling in the chords underneath. Behind both of those, there might have even been another guitar, adding more depth to the loop. Hopefully these ideas give you a better look at how Wanna does guitars. Thanks for listening. I was covering a specific guitar sound on most of this album, which is why I didn't talk about Rockstar Bikers and Chains, but that's still one of my favorite songs on the album. And leave a comment, let me know what your favorite song on this album was, and if it had a guitar in it. You can find Sound Selection on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok.